My name's Philip Urban. I'm a cardiologist from Geneva, and I'm here at EuroPCR 2016 with two friends and colleagues, DJ Carrier from Toulouse and uh, Gert Richard from uh, Germany. And we're here to discuss some aspects of the Leaders Free trial. That trial included patients um, who were all at high bleeding risk. We're calling them HBR, high bleeding risk. And they were treated with either a bare metal stent or a drug coated stent. And this drug coated stent is unique in that it is capable of delivering biolimus A9, but without a polymer, without a carrier, without anything. And the elution of the drug into the vessel wall happens fast. It's all over within a month. And so that prompted us five years ago to consider might this device be superbly suited for shortened DAPT. And precisely these patients, high bleeding risk patients, are those who may require a shortened DAPT. So we'd like to work around this whole topic and uh, with the help of Didier and Gert, we're going to do that. So Gert, can you tell us, remind us, why do you think bleeding is such an issue? Is it a, such an issue? I think it's important to be aware of the fact that any bleeding event increases the mortality of our PCI patients in, to a similar amount as a myocardial infarction. So that means avoiding bleeding and avoiding a thrombosis of the stent is of similar importance for our patients. And uh, who are those patients, Didier? What, what, what do you think? This population uh, is growing and probably that in our cat lab, now we have uh, around 20% of this specific population. And this population is a patient uh, over 75 uh, years old, uh, renal failure, uh, anemia, uh, neoplasia, or uh, previous uh, or surgery, which is planned uh, during uh, the three months or six months after. And this uh, very growing population uh, it's uh, very frequently in uh, our cat lab now, uh, every day. And there's one group that you, that you didn't mention, I think, but they're also important is the patients with oral anticoagulants. But uh, maybe you did mention them, I'm sorry if you did. But anyway, yes. So a number of simple clinical predictors define this population as at increased risk of bleeding. And why did you think this trial was interesting? What, what, what I was very, very interested to take part in, in this trial because just this growing patient population has been excluded from all the PCI, PCI trials that we recently have seen. And um, that was uh, why I was um, taking part in the study because I wanted to get data and some uh, robust uh, information how we should uh, treat these patients and whether it is safe to reduce the amount of antithrombotic therapy. As you know, we're very grateful to your input because not only were you interested, but you were one of the best enrollers. So thank you very much again for that. Didier, can you remind us of what, what, what were the main findings of this trial that, for you? The main findings are that concerning the safety and the efficacy, uh, we, we are very surprised uh, by these results, which are very impressive. Because when you look at uh, the efficacy, it shows that this uh, drug routine stent, new drug routine stent, uh, is superior to bar metal stent, but it was normal when you see the literature and uh, all the previous trials. But it was very interesting to look at also that the safety uh, was uh, very, very good. And uh, concerning uh, the hemorrhagic risk, the bark uh, hemorrhagic risk, we have seen a very interesting result because there is an equivalent uh, in terms of uh, hemorrhagy, but not uh, much more hemorrhagic in uh, the group with drug urethane stent. And consequently, uh, we have excellent results in safety and efficacy. Okay, yes, and you're right to stress the fact that bleeding was not an endpoint, but it yes. confirmed that these patients were at high bleeding risk because despite having short DAPT, they still had a 7% BART 3, 4 or 5 rate yes. during a year. So a lot of bleeding, unfortunately. What's your take on bare metal stents now after this trial? Well, after this trial, I think that uh, now uh, bare metal stent is not useful in uh, our practice. 
in interventional cardiology because uh, I think that with this trial, bar metal scent uh, will disappear uh, in a few months. Do you still in my mind. Do you still have them in your cat lab? Yeah, no, no, uh, we, we... They're on we the way did, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Christoph Naber from Germany, your country, presented a very interesting subset of patients in the Leaders Free, patients who presented with acute coronary syndrome. Would you like to remind us what, what Christoph rem uh, described? It is definitely a very interesting subgroup because uh, in the last year we were learning that patients with ACS should have dual antiplatelet therapy for at least one year. Some uh, people discuss even longer periods. But this might be not a good solution for high-risk bleeding patients. And the good news from the yesterday presentation is that the Leaders Free um, subgroup of ACS had the same advantage from this new stand and from this shortened therapy as the whole cohort. So it is good news for ACS patients with high bleeding risk. And so again, the bare metal stent has no place anymore in the uh, treatment of a Actually, we syndrome. have put him out of our shelf and I think it, it will also get rid of the uh, guidelines very soon. Yeah, I think we all three think that, that it's likely that it will impact the guidelines in a significant manner. Well, thank you. I think we agree also, we had this conversation before, but I think we agree that what we must now do over the next few months is help our community become increasingly aware of the fact that these patients can be identified, it's easy to identify them, and then we have a solution for their specific problem. And they've always been, as you reminded us, they've always been excluded from trials. Now we have one solid trial that's really focusing on them, and it helps us, I hope, do better medicine for more people. Sure. Thank you very much to both of you. Thank you.